Hey everybody, on the reel here, and today we are playing Township. Today we have a new regatta season, Land of Snow and Ice. So this is perfect for the winter theme. I think it's cute, and it's a nice break from all the desert stuff, right? Ha ha ha. All right, so here is our yacht club, and we got all these really cool decorations, like the dog sled, the penguin skating rink, the ice skate, the polar station, which I can't get right now because I'm not in the gold league, but that's okay. Hopefully we'll get there. We have four weeks to get there at least, right? Um, the only thing about this regatta that I would really want to bring up with you guys is these uh, relay tasks. As you see, it's like that little purple ribbon with the like torch, I think it is, or a leaf. I don't know. I can't really tell what it is. But anyways, those are the relay tasks, you guys, and these ones... The way these work is, so everyone in your co-op has a chance to do it. Oh look, here we go. The relay task stays on the board when completed, so other co-op members can choose it. The number of points for completing the relay task will increase the first three times it is completed. Then, the number of points will stay at the maximum. The time for the task is shared by all co-op members. That means if this says I have three days to do it, I shouldn't take three days to do it, you know what I mean? Because it's three days for me and the rest of my co-op to do it. And we can get as many points as we can by doing it. So the more people that do it, the more points you get. And then once it maxes out, it just stays there, basically is what it's saying. So another thing with regatta is uh, deleting versus dumping. So you know you have your tasks that you can delete. And deleting means you just delete the task without like starting it. So people that can delete are people like uh, elders, co-leaders, or the leaders in your co-op. Those people can delete tasks. Dumping means when you start a task and then you're like, oh, I don't think I can do this in time. I don't really want to waste my time. I want to do something else. And you delete it from there. That does count towards the number of tasks that you are allowed to do. So when you dump it, you essentially are wasting one task that you could have done. Unless, I don't know, I guess maybe you decided to put your efforts towards something else. I don't know. That's something I could think you would have to talk to your co-op about. We also have the whole thing with reserving tasks. A lot of co-ops have different rules with this. My co-op really is kind of like a hey, um, this is reserved, like, please don't take it type of thing. But, you know, if someone accidentally takes it, it's not it's not really that big of a deal. We're not going to kick you out because of it. But some co-ops are, like, super intense, and they'll kick you out, I guess, from what I've read on Facebook and stuff. So that's pretty crazy, you guys. So right now I'm doing the mine task. So I'm doing the one where you have to collect a bunch of pieces of ore. This is one of the relay tasks that I was talking to you about. So I'm going to try to get this done as quickly as possible, which is why you saw me loading up a bunch of trains and doing things like that. So I can get more tools for the mine. I also am going to probably ask my co-op members for some pickaxes and things like that. And hopefully they will be generous and donate some to me so I can get this task done as quickly as possible. Also, it is important to note that once you get the task done, you cannot do it again. So you just can't keep repeating the same task. The relay task also, by the way, you guys, the timer doesn't start until somebody starts it. So I started the ore one. So as you see there, the timer has started. So I have a day to do this. Well, not just me, but me and my entire co-op have 23 hours and 55 minutes to get 58 pieces of ore, which really isn't hard. So if everyone's like on track and we get it done, you know, it's a lot of points you can get. The initial reward is 130 points, but it increases as the relay task gets completed. So the first player gets 130 points. The second gets 135. The third gets 140 and the fourth and whoever else goes after that each get 145 for completing it. This is a great way to get major points if you're like in those really competitive co-ops. This is a great way to like get ahead of the curve there. And that's basically what relay tasks are all about. If you guys have any more questions, let me know in the comments. I will answer them uh, to the best of my ability. Thank you for watching again and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.